Last time on Trails from Zero, in a nutshell. I joined the police force in hopes of surpassing some dead guy, that I keep forgetting exists. There I met Ellie, who I like to bully just to piss off her fans in the comment section. T.O., an adorable but badass 14 year old, who will probably murder me one day. And finally Bro Andy, the most interesting of the bunch. Because we're bros. Hell yeah brother! Together, we work to solve a few cases which involve the Mafia, Ravish. As well as prevented an assassination of Mayor McDonald's. Oh and I guess we encountered some tomboy chick and edgelord along the way too. Now I bet you're tired of me recapping a video you probably already watched, so let's get to part 2 baby. Are you ready? to hear this annoying song for the next 20 hours today is the 70th anniversary of the founding of Crossbell these past 70 years have had its struggles with era Boney Young and Calzone fighting over who owns our asses but over time we have evolved to become the world's most popular trading center and totally not because we invented Missy, who everyone just loves for some reason. To celebrate our anniversary, we will be holding a five-day long party. Everybody get your homes and your beers. It's time to get fucked up. Uh, Mr. Mayor sir? Can you decrease our taxes too? No. Dang it. I will however, give everyone a free McDonald's happy meal. Party Day 1 Wow, that play was awesome. Now I'm gonna head down to the strip club with Bro Andy. Also Jesus Christ Cecile you're hot. If only you weren't my not sister and wasn't a character with missed potential. Otherwise, I'd totally shove my face in your tits right now and fuck you in the middle of the streets. Oh Lloyd, you silly Billy. Hello again. It's me, Noelle. I'm here to remind you that I exist. And I'm her adorable little sister, Fran, who is infinitely more interesting. Excuse me, ladies, but I'm on my way to the strip club down the street. Nope, you're taking us both to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, God damn it! But the strip club ladies are apparently wearing half-naked Rixia cosplays tonight. Party Day 2 Alright, I wasn't able to make it to the strip club yesterday, but that's okay. I'll totally be able to go there to see the Rixia cosplayed women tonight. Nope. You have police jobs to do. Fuck. I need you to find our doctor, who ran away for some reason. And we found the doctor, that was easy. It's time to go back to work. Sorry, I'm busy fishing, and totally not using this random hobby of mine as an excuse to do suspicious things. Gunter, it's time to get off your ass and do your job, or... You're fired! Fine. But only if you beat me in this fishing minigame. Bad news. Something is going on in the harbor district. What the hell are you guys doing? People are trying to sleep! Me and my boyfriend are fighting each other to the death in public and you won't stop us. Hey champ, that's really interesting. Next time, keep it to yourself. Ha! Huh. This bitch thinks she can tell me what to do. Die, bitch! Oopsie. <laughs> uh, are you okay, dude? I hope Estelle didn't break something of yours. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'll go call the hospital to check up on- Psych! What the fudge? You made me angry, so- YOU MUST DIE! Wald, chill the fuck out, and save it for the bedroom. WHAT THE HELL IS GOING ON?! In the name of the law stop fighting, or I won't get paid later. She started it. The hell, you're the one that was fighting in public. 
because I get turned on when I fight my boyfriend to the death in front of an audience. He's right, and I love him for it. We were just about to get to the part where we take our clothes off too. Gross, keep your weird fetishes in private. I literally just said I only get turned on when we're in public. Oh my god can everyone just shut up and clear out a path, you're blocking the streets. Joshua, reason with them. I'm sorry Tio, but I can't. This thirst for blood of mine must be sated. What is wrong with you people? How about we do a race instead? Hell yeah! The rules are simple. There are three checkpoints scattered around the area. You must hit all three of them before you get to the finish line. Huh, oh, this shit's gonna be easy. Me and Lloyd already won. Ah! What? What the fuck? Man, I'm exhausted. Now's a perfect time to tell you about my really sad and tragic backstory. Oh nice. You're finally getting some character develop- Which I won't go into the full details until Asha. Oh, come on! Hey, Falcon needs to give people an incentive to buy the sequel somehow. Party Day 3 SSS, I need your help. Okay, so basically, I need you to track down a rival hacker of mine named Kitty. She keeps trying to steal my hentai. What makes you think would help you? Ah, uh, you're the police. You exist to help people. Fair. Fine, we'll help you, kid, but on one condition. You have to give me some of your hentai. Preferably of Nurse Cecile. Oh, hell no. Cecile is my 27th favorite girl in my collection. There must be a misunderstanding here. I wasn't asking. Oh god, not again. Give me the Cecile pawn right now or I'll chainsaw your arms off. You won't make me. One. Kids go die tonight! In order to find the hacker we need to pin them in place on the internet. Through this terminal and the one Jonah is using. Hacker powers, activate. Gotcha bitch. Well that was easy. Time for my beauty sleep. Psych! You just got rend bitch. Wait I mean. You just got kitted bitch. Fuck. At least this is the perfect time to tell you that your brother guy saved my life a few years ago. Who's guy again? Well whatever. I'm now gonna give you a head pat for some reason. Hopefully this doesn't cause you to fall in love with me which would be really weird. Holy crap he's hot. OH FOR FUCK'S SAKE! We couldn't stop Kitty but I was at least able to dig up a bunch of classified info. Garcia is actually a Jaeger of the infamous Zephyr group. You say that as if you know about Zephyr. Oh ah, uh, I just looked them up the other day. Don't worry though because they most certainly won't become more important in later games. Okay, I believe you. It appears that Speaker Hartman, a politician, is secretly in cahoots with Ravish. It also says here that they are planning an auction in a few days where they sell illegal goods. Unfortunately, the police have their hands tied on this case. Which means this auction has been going on for years, and nobody can do anything about it. This is another barrier that the SSS has to overcome. Bro Andy. What the fuck did you just say? Ah. Uh. Barrier? Barrier. 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 Then we just have to get over the bar- Nope. Sorry. This is one barrier that is too big for you to handle. If you interfere there is a strong possibility the entire SSS could get disbanded. So I order you to drop this case. Okay, Dad. Fine. Yes, Daddy. Okay, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. Great. You're gonna go investigate the auction anyway, aren't you? Yeah. Of course you are. Party Day 4 
We still have one more day until the auction, so let's do some requests till then. Our statue was stolen, so I need you to find the culprit. Ha 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 ha. It is I, Phantom Thief B. Special support section. I challenge you to a game of wisdom and wit. The first clue I will give you is... Holy shit, this is just like the calling cards from Persona 5. Oh god damn it. Oh my god is this a Persona 5 reference? That's my favorite game in the world. Ryuji is so adorable. Yusuke is cuter. No, 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 a thousand f***ing times no! You idiots do realize that this isn't even supposed to be a calling card. Send me a calling card so you can steal my heart please. You know what, screw this. You can have your statue back. I'm tired of this shit man. Fuck this shit I'm out. Well that was easy. I need you to find our son. He's gone missing. Do you think it's happened again? No it hasn't. I won't allow it. Let me guess. You left your one and only child alone and replaced them with a new kid? I saw Star Door 15. I know what you did. You horrible. Piece of shit. Parents. We'll help you find your son no problem. Let's go guys. Oh hello, little girl who is most certainly not related to the two parents I literally just saw two seconds ago. Hello my name is Ren. How are you mister? I finally found you Ren. Oh shit. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Damn it she got away. She'll be mine soon enough. <laughs> Estelle, do we really have to be chasing her? We've literally been doing this for three games now. Shut up, Joshua. Yes, ma'am. I'll make her join our family if it's the last thing I do. What was that about? That crazy bitch has been trying to adopt me into her family for three games now. Can I help you find that lost child so I can hide from her? Yeah, I guess. And we found the kid that was easy. <laughs> Monday! Monday! Oh! Come back, Mr. Butterfly. Oh. He was just chasing a butterfly this whole time. That's so sweet. Oh, thank goodness. I love you. Will you be my friend too? Now we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Eat my loser side, bitch. Damn, damn. It's okay, honey, you're safe now. Cry for me. Why are you crying? Sniffle, you're going to make me cry now too. Cry for me, cry for me, cry for me. Jesus Christ, can you whiny little shits shut the fuck up? Seriously, I hate kids. Now it's time I tell you our really sad and tragic backstory. Um... So you're not a piece of shit parent who abandoned their child. I guess it was all a big misunderstanding. You still deserve to burn in hell for all of eternity for leaving your child behind. I know. Final party day. Alright guys, it's finally time to infiltrate the auction. Who the fudge are you? I'm Lecter, one of the Iron Bloods working under Gilead Osborne. Uh, were you supposed to tell us that? Nope. Which is why, you will die right here and now. Nani? HOLY SHIT I'VE GOT A GUN! Wait, I'm fine? Oh my dude, you just got pranked! Bet you didn't see that one coming, huh? Hello, my name is Kilika, and I'm hot as shit. Wait, where's Sin? Who? 
I made a Killika, hopefully I can finally get some character development in Crossbell here. Nope! Zen, did you forget? You're still my bitch. Now get your ass back to Calzone. Anyway you guys, can just ignore me, and Lecter as our appearance here means absolutely nothing. Okay I believe you. Alright guys let's go. Agahak agahak. I've been stuck in this briefcase for 7,000 years. Someone help. Nani? It's that little girl's voice again. Nah, it's probably nothing. Alright, before we send you guys in, you'll need a disguise. But Lloyd can only pick one of you. So, who will you choose? Bro Andy, obviously. Oh hell yeah. What the hell? I thought you were going to pick me, I'm adorable. Sorry ladies. Bros before hoes. Besides, none of you are Rixia so this was an obvious choice. God damn it, but I'm supposed to be your main love interest. Shut up Ellie. Alright men, make sure to not let anyone inside who doesn't have an invitation. Especially if said someone is a police officer named Lloyd Bannings. Of course, sir. What's your name, random visitor who looks just like Lloyd Bannings, but with glasses? My name is Guy Bannings. I see nothing suspicious about this. Go on ahead. Like a mouse! Holy crap, Yin is here. Give it up, or we'll kill you. Oh no, what am I going to do? Psych! You are dead! Not a big surprise! A fly? I don't know why, but that masked dude has me massively turned on right now. Oh my gosh, Lloyd, stop being distracted by boobs and help me already. Oh look a briefcase. I sure hope there's loads of Rixia porn in here. Huh? Finally. You saved my life Mr. Lloyd. Oh god damn it, it's just a boring character. <coughs> Mr. Lloyd what are you doing I thought you were saving him. Lloyd what the hell, we need to save this kid. Ugh, fine. What in Sam Hill is going on down here? Ouchie out. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. You little shit. Okay, daddy. Don't call me that ever again. Okay, my knight in shining armor. Wow, you're an amazing dad already. I can help you with child support if you want. If you say one more word, I will fucking kill you. Oh my, yes, daddy. Get right there! You'll be sleeping with the fishes tonight. Well crap. Now I feel stupid. Anybody order a hot dilf? Daddy Sergey. Daddy. Daddy Sergey. Daddy Sergey. Daddy Sergey. Daddy Sergey. Oh my god, can you stop calling me that? Run, bitch! Run! <laughs> Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Ravish apparently doesn't know where Kia came from, so we need to find out where her parents are. Nice. But the SSS will be taking care of her for the time being. Not nice. Daddy. I found you. Give me a hug. Gross, get the hell away from me. Hey, be nice to her. Shut up, Ellie. Yes, sir. All right, you little shit. Let's go on a field trip. Hey, mister with the funny clothes. I have a question. Shoot for it, honey. What are you fucking gay? Hey, Kia, that's not very nice. Shut it, woman. I got this. Why are you so mean to me? Now listen here, you little shit. We respect anyone on this earth no matter their sexuality. And do you know what we call people who hate gay people? What? 
homophobes, and they deserve to burn in the deepest bowels of hell for all of eternity. Do you want to burn in the deepest bowels of hell for all of eternity? No, I don't want to burn in the deepest bowels of hell for all of eternity. That would make Kia very sad. So you do get it. You little shit! Now apologize to the good man. I'm sorry, sir. I think you're really cool. Oh, it's no problem, kiddo. Oh my god, this little girl looks adorable. We're adopting her right now. Estelle, we're already looking for Ren. Screw you, Joshua. We're having two kids. No, I'm tired of your shit, Estelle. We're only adding one kid into our family and that's final. No, 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 but she looks so adorable. Alright, let's go to St. Ursula College in order to get Kia's memories back. Dr. Ginter, can you help Kia? Of course. But she will need to stay at the hospital for three days. No. This guy is weird and creepy. Kia, I think we can trust Ginter. It'll only be three days. Listen to Ellie, Kia. Don't worry. I will take good care of you. See, sweetie? What a completely trustworthy individual. Bitch! I hate you. <laughs> oh, thank God she's gone. Lloyd, you better go after her. Shut up, Ellie. How about you shut up instead? Did you forget I'm the one with the mother flipping gun? Ah, uh, Ellie? You're scaring me. That's right. I'm the one with the gun. Now hold on, I've only been mean to you just to piss off your fans in the comment section. It was all just a prank, bro. You better go after Kia, or... Oh help me, God, I'll... Shoot. You in the face! Yes, ma'am. I guess all that bullying you did backfired for you, huh? Shut up, Gunter. Yes, sir. Who the heck are you? I'm Shizuku. What's your name? I'm Kia. Hey, Shizuku. You wanna be girlfriends? Heck yeah. We're best friends forever. Alright, we're back home since you're too much of a wussy to get a checkup. Now, get your ass to bed. Dinner's ready. What? Oh, thank you so much, Kia. You're an amazing cook. I could eat this every day. Woof. I bet it tastes like dog shit. No. This is the best meal I have ever eaten. Kia, you wanna cuddle with me tonight? No, thank you. I wanna sleep with Lloyd. Hell no. You sleep with Tio, you little bastard. You can sleep with me any night, sweetie. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Ravish. Damn it all. How the hell was that girl at our auction? Because of what happened, anime old man Tony Stark cut ties with us and stopped selling me his Iron Man action figures. This is all your fault, Garcia. I have no excuses. I guess this is finally the time. Time to use the thing. Oh, uh, what thing? You know, the thing. Like the thing from the Fantastic Four? Wait, what? No. I'm referring to- Oh. You mean the thing inside the conspicuously placed treasure chest behind you which Lloyd is going to open once he explores this dungeon? Hell no, you dumbass. I'm talking about our trump card to eliminate Hey You, which we'll also use to convince Speaker Hartmon to come back to us. Gasp. But that's too risky. If we get caught using those, we'll get arrested for sure. If it is to gain back our control over Crossbell, the risk will be worth it. Don't worry, I'm totally not going to eat those words. Ha 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 It would be until a few days later where he would find out. He fucked up. Oh boy. We're getting into the dark and spooky stuff now. Shivers down your spine
SSS, I need your help. There's an old building that we believe is haunted, so we need you to investigate. <laughs> Stop being such a pussy. See? This place looks completely safe. I doubt there are actually any ghosts here anyway. Fucking ring ring ring! Fucking ring ring ring! Fucking ring ring ring! ring. Fucking uh, ring ring ring! Fucking ring ring ring! Well, never mind then. One spooky dungeon later. Alright, we cleared out all the ghosts and holy shit, is that blood? This is where children were forced to experience mediocrity. What you see is the blood of those victims after they cringed so hard. What a horrible way to go. Is anybody feeling a massive tonal shift? Or is that just me? Wait, why do you know about this, Tio? Who are you again? Nanny? Okay, we should be able to rid of all the monsters if we stop this bell from ringing. Oh, thank God. <laughs> SSS, someone at Mind's Mind needs your help with a missing person's case. Oh god damn it, really? We just finished exorcising some ghosts. I'll send you swimsuit pictures of my sister. She's mid, so no thank you. How about pics of Rixia? We'll get it done ASAP. And we found the missing guy. That was easy. It's time to go back to work. Sorry, I'm busy kicking people's asses in Smash Brothers, which is totally not because of some drugs that gave me superpowers. Gantz, it's time to get off your ass and do your job, or... You're fired! No! Yes. No! Yes. No! Yes. No! Well, I'm all out of ideas. Meanwhile, at the Legion of- Hey you! Chow sir, what are you doing? I'm trying to phase through this wall, like Yen. Sir, you've been at this for months. Can you find another hobby? This is weird. You don't understand, man. Ever since watching The Flash, I've been even more obsessed with this now. I must learn how to walk through walls, even if it kills me. Bad news, Ravish is attacking us. Oh my god. I never thought of breaking through one of my walls with brute force. That's genius. Oh my fucking- The next day. What happened? Our building was attacked, so if you don't find a way to stop those guys yourselves, we'll be starting an all-out gang war. Can you like, chill and let it go instead? No. I was so close to figuring out phasing. I will have my revenge. A what? Ignore his reasonings, please. For my sake. Let's ask if Garcia really was involved in the attack. Did you attack Hey You? No. Dang it. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Bad news. That worker from that mine from the other day is causing a ruckus. Ha 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 ha. You're going to lose. You will never defeat my Pyra slash Mithra. Oh no, what am I going to do? Psych! Ha! You just got beat by a low tier character. You kinda sub balls, dude. This is bullshit! Yo man, chill the heck out. I speculate that the miner has been using some kind of drugs to enhance his Smash Brothers skills. Holy shit, you're right. Pretends to be shocked. Dr. Gunter, do you know what these pills are? No. Dang it. Well, I'm all out of ideas. However, I did hear about a devil worshipping cult that created a drug called Gnosis which by the way, I am most certainly not involved with at all, but that's just a rumor. Well that information came out of nowhere and feels oddly specific. Oh god I'm having a panic attack. I repeat, I'm having a panic attack. I am actually a victim of the evil cult Gunter mentioned. What did they do to you? They... 
They. They. Do and I, I, I caught a, I caught a little Pokemon. Do you want to know what Pokemon I caught? What Pokemon did you catch, Gunter? I caught a Mish it deal. I caught a little Mish it. Oh no, Gunter! Don't tell me. You already know that. Do you know what I'm gonna do to that thing? Gunter, it's an animal you can't Gunter. Do there's no laws against Mish it deal. I can do whatever I want with it. No, 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 no! Don't do it. I'm gonna do. No! Those sick twisted fucks. After that experience, I'm still conflicted on whether I deserve to live. I still remember the screams of the other children. I know one kid was being forced to play Sonic Forces. Those sick bastards. Why? Why was I the only one that survived? T.O. It's gonna be okay. We're all just like you, lost in this world as we search for our purpose in life. So don't ever feel that you're alone. You guys. Wow, what a really touching and bittersweet scene. I can't wait to see where else this story takes your character T.O. This is the last compelling scene I get in this whole franchise. It's time I tell you about that evil cult. And I can safely say in my entire career as an officer, that these are the nastiest, most inhuman sons of bitches I've ever had the pleasure of taking down. They are known as the DG Cult. The G stands for Gnosis as you can already imagine. What does the D stand for? These nuts! They had multiple lodges spread across the continent, performing certain rituals in them. Basically they forced kids to watch cringe like that really bad Velma show, play god awful video games, you name it. Sweet mother of god. How do people like them even exist? I wanna kill them. However, the Please one and speak. only Cassius Bright took them down. With the help of Ouroboros. All of the remaining members committed suicide. Which is why it's strange that their drug has returned. It is very possible we have a survivor of the cult here in Crossbell. And they could very well be your brother's killer. I have a brother? Oh and Oreos was friends with Guy and was a police officer. But that won't be important until Azure. Then why even tell me right now? That is everything I can tell you. Go out there and kick some ass, SSS. Guy would be so proud of you right now if he was alive, seeing you overcome Crossbell's barriers. What the flying fuck did you just say? Damn it me and my big mouth. Barrier. 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 Then we just have to get over the barrier. Let's investigate Ravish's headquarters for clues. You rookie screw off. This case is mine. Ah, where are your police friends? Everyone's too busy doing other things, so it's only me here today. I can take care of myself obviously, I don't need them. Wrong. We need to use the power of friendship. Come on Dudley, I'm not a Wookiee anymore so we're in this together. You were saying? One filler dungeon later. Oh look, a conspicuously placed treasure chest. There's probably nothing important in here, but I'll open it anyway. This. 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 This was the police badge that one dude I forgot the name of used to wear before he died. But more importantly, there's evidence that Ravish has been working with the cult. 
Why would the Mafia boss have such incriminating evidence in his office? I know, right? What an idiot. Oh my goodness, does that mean today is going to be 50 hours long instead of 24? Ellie, it's a figure of speech. SSS, I have to thank you and Kia for befriending my daughter. I haven't been able to spend time with her due to my job, so it's refreshing that Shizuku has made a friend. That little shit made a friend? I mean, oh nice, good for her. Bad news. A bunch of people went missing, including that miner from before. But don't worry about that, we'll take care of it. That means no more rivalries between the Bracer Guild and the police. We'll be working together from now on. We had a rivalry? Meanwhile, at the Legion of Ouroboros. Thank God, I have this secret bunker. That crazy bitch can't find me here. Hello. Who the fudge are you? I am Santa Claus. Ho 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 ho! Nah, I'm just fucking with you. In all seriousness, my name is Meister Jorga. I am one of the guys in charge of the 13 factories of Ouroboros. Seriously? There are so many members of Ouroboros in these games. It's hard for me to keep track of you all. I feel you there, kiddo. By the way, there's a girl with a huge stick and a black-haired guy outside. Oh god fucking damn it. Estelle, I seriously doubt Ren would be here. Shut up, Joshua. My Ren senses are tingling. Fucking ring ring ring! Anybody here? You darn kids get off my property! Damn it, Estelle. Sorry for bothering you, sir. No, no, no. She has to be here. Thanks, Jorg. No problem. Alright, let's go check on Gunto to see how the drug test is going. Hey, rookies. What are you doing? We're going to check on Gunto. Why? Well, I just wanted to let you know that Gunter was Ernest's doctor before his arrest. That dude is still relevant to the plot? Also, huh, that's weirdly convenient. You know now that I think about it, didn't Ernest have superpowers like that miner too? He was really strong, for example. And Gunter was his doctor, meaning he would have access to give Ernest a prescription. You don't think? No, it couldn't be. Well, shit. The power is out. Cecile's tits, that's not a good sign. Oh my god, there better not be any ghosts. Hello. Oh good, it's just Ravish. Damn! That was easy. It's your girl, I mean boy, Yin. Nice, are you going to join our party? Yup. But only for like 30 minutes of playtime. I have been waiting. Why the hell are you here? Your plot relevance should have ended back in chapter 2. Silence wench. Today I will prove I am the best antagonist in this series. Check out my awesome demon lord powers. Ha 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 Barnacles. You defeated me. Ernest. You're under arrest for breaking and entering, drug use, and... Uh, bye! What the fudge? Spyro, come to me. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Well, that's not something you see every day. It says in this file that Gunter was blackmailing Speaker Hartmer because of his involvement in a facility called Paradise. Well, I guess I know who to kill on site next. Also, holy crap, is that a boring character inside of an egg? Hello. Ah! Why the fudge are you here? 
to spout some cryptic nonsense like a Kingdom Hearts villain. Oh, and also to let you know that I'm giving Estelle and Joshua one last chance to capture me. Not that they'll be able to anyway. There you are, Ren. Oh, fuck me. Stranger danger, stranger danger, stranger danger. Two hours of plot exposition later. And that's what happened. Damn, Gunter was the main villain all along? Who woulda thunk it? Bad news. We lost contact with the Belgard Gate. Well, that's not a good sign. Woof. Nani? Surprise, motherfucker! Finally. The pizza we ordered should have been here an hour ago. Run, bitch! Run! Oh, hello, Lloyd, who I most certainly didn't meet up with in a disguise just an hour ago. Get your perfectly shaped boobs and sexy ass out of here. It's dangerous. Swing this hoodie. I'm coming for that booty. Oh my god. Phew. Are we Phew. on an action show Phew. right Phew. now? This is Phew. awesome. Point the Phew. camera Phew. at me. I want to be on the show Phew. too. Are you stupid or something? That's not very nice, you little shit. I wonder what would happen if I walked right in front of one of those fake bullets. Okay, fine, I agree. She's a dumbass. Thank goodness, you saved us, Mr. Croys. Don't worry about it. Because I'm most certainly not helping you just so I can earn your trust so that when me and my daughter betrays you later in Azure, you won't suspect a thing. Okay, I believe you. You can stay at my house for the night. You know what that means? Final bonding event scenes time, baby. Nice. By the way, I hope you spammed combo S-crafts with your friends, or else you won't be able to see all of their scenes. What? But that's stupid. I only used the ones with Randy. You better get your ass to YouTube then. Oh. Fine. Oh boy, I can't wait to learn more about Ellie's backstory. Hey Lloyd, did you look up to your brother? I thought this scene was going to be about you. Let's kiss. Well, so much for character development. Also damn it, I'm saving this kiss for Rixia. Ah uh, whatever, I'll be reloading my save after this so it's fine. Wait what? Lloyd, I have a request. I want you to take me to Disney World after this. Oh heck yeah, I'm sure Brandy will love it. No, just us. I swear to God if she means on a date, I'm going to kill the riders. And most importantly, we'll get to meet Mishy. Isn't that the mascot for babies? <laughs> I mean of course, we'll see Mishy too. Lloyd, it's time I tell you the life I had before I joined the SSS. Oh, finally. I was a member of a Jaeger Corps, known as the Red Constellation. They are considered to be the most vile mercenary group on the continent. I wielded my first knife at four years old, fired my first gun at six, I killed my first man at twelve. For five long years, I was a monster, sniffing out blood like a dog. But one day, I had enough of all the bloodshed and ran away. What caused that? I'll let you know in Asher. Oh, come on! Hey, Mr. Croist, I have a question. Why did Falcon put super crucial lore in these easily missable scenes? Silly Lloyd, did you forget? Falcom has always put important characterization in easily missable content. Because Kondo is fucking stupid. Bad news, the mind-controlled soldiers are trying to break through our barrier. What the hell, I'm the only one allowed to do that. Alright everyone, this is going to be the fight of our lives. We need to win so we can protect the little shit. I mean little bastard. I mean demon child. Okay Ellie. Where the hell are you getting all these weapons? Aren't they already beat us? 
barnacles. Hello. I'd recognize that Indian accent anywhere. But wait, you aren't Gunter. Correct. I am Gunter inside of this man's body. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Bring me Lady Kia and I will let you live. Okay. God damn it, fine. No, you won't take my nut daughter, who I'm only taking care of because I'm afraid I'll get murdered by my nut girlfriend. Then you will die! Kill every last one of them! No! I won't let you hurt my daddy. I'm not your dad, you little sh. I will come with you if you leave my friends alone. Oh, but I wanted to murder some people today. I'll use my glowy powers on you. Gasp. Of course, Lady Kia. We will obey your commands. What the fudge? Did you guys see that shit? Thank you, Kia. I love you so much, Kido. If I can't make babies with Lloyd, at least I have you, Kia. What the fuck is going on? Is the little shit really a mind-controlling demon child? Aryans is here to save the day. Swoosh, 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 swoosh. The Thank you! You may have defeated me here, but you will never find out where my true body is at. You're currently at the Sun Fort. Shit. Thanks for the ride, Daddy Sergey. Anything for you, kiddos. Although I swear to God if you call me Daddy one more time, I'm going to shoot myself. Oh, God damn it, I was just kidding. Stop breaking the law, asshole! Holy crap, Noelle did something actually useful for once. Hopefully this means she'll get more interesting and developed in Asha. <laughs> now this is a final dungeon theme. Alright we made it guys. We're at the final dungeon of the game so now it's time to kill Gunter. What the hell, we literally just started the game. Wait what? Why did I say that? Also, for whatever reason I'm getting a sense of deja vu. I don't feel like me and Estelle are supposed to be here. Shut the hell up Joshua and let me do my inspirational speech. Special support section. This is only one of the many barriers that we must overcome. Now it's time to... FUCK HIM UP! But first we need to go back in time and play the entire game up to this point all over again. What the actual hell? Yep. Everything you did so far was actually just the tutorial of this game. You have gotta be shitting. Nani? God damn it! Nah, I'm just messing with you. Just for that, I'm throwing you off this cliff. Ah! Don Marconi, did you kill that one guy I keep forgetting exists? No, it was probably Ginta. Okay, I believe you. There you are. Now I'll finally prove my worth as an antagonist. Demon powers, activate. Ha 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 You will never defeat me. Help me, I'm being mind controlled, please kill me. I have been waiting, Lloyd Bannings, Ellie McDonald's, Bro Andy Orlando. And how could I forget Theo Plato? You have no right to speak her name after what you did to her. That's right. What you did to those children is unforgivable, I should kill you without mercy. You misunderstand Lloyd Bannings. 
we only forced children to play mediocre content because their sacrifices were necessary for the creation of gnosis it runs on children's cringe after all are you seriously trying to justify making children play ball and wonder world you sick bastard oh come on i personally thought it was a good game of course you do you monster i have a question mr gunter what was the purpose of the facility paradise you mean the place where we forced children play the worst video games ever made it's a shame the place was destroyed because it housed a certain purple haired girl who was capable of producing a large amount of cringe the game we used was sonic forces by the way oh the screams of the children who had to play such a miserable experience how i wished i could witness it you piece of garbage that's it i'm taking your ass to jail now oh i don't think so nani <laughs> holy crap he got cold steel ford <laughs> Barnacles, he has us trapped. Now stay where you are, while we watch Mickey Mouse porn together. Oh god no. Anything but that. But before you make us cringe to death, I have to ask. Did you kill my brother? No. Okay I believe you. Not that you finding out how he died matters anyway, as you will live the rest of your days within that barrier. <laughs> Gunter, what the fuck did you just say? Huh? You're going to live the rest of your lives inside of that bubble? No. The other word. You mean barrier? Barrier, bubble. I see no difference between the two. Barrier. Barrier. Then we just have to get over the barrier. Nani, how could you destroy the barrier? The power of friendship. Barnacles. I guess it's time I use my secret weapon. You take the red pill. No, no, no. <laughs> Holy crap, Winter turned into a I have also acquired the power to see into the future. Yes, I see everything now. The truth of your brother's killer, the truth of Kia's appearance at the auction, the fate of all of Crosswell, and most importantly, how badly written it all is. Badly written? But I thought Azure was the best game in the Trail series. <laughs> it's a shame you won't be able to experience the disappointment. Now, done. What the fudge? Ren is here to save the day. Eat laser beam, bitch. I'm a fire in the laser! Barnacles. But I had the power of Saiten and anime on my side. Guess I will die now. Kaboom! You know guys. Even though Gunto was a psychopath, a kidnapper, an abuser, a murderer, a pedophile, and a man who forced mediocrity onto unsuspecting children. I feel bad for him. Yo man get your head out of your ass. You are right. Well, I guess my job here is done. There you are. Oh shit. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Wait what the fudge. Why are you walking towards her patamata? Run away damn it. No 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 no. Get over here! Finally. Thank God we caught her. I was really starting to think this plotline from Sky's second chapter was being unnecessarily dragged out. 
That's right, Joshua. She'll be a part of our family. Forever. Hey, I didn't ask for this. No, let me go. I don't want to be a part of your family, you crazy bitch. Somebody help! Ah, Estelle and Joshua finally found Ren. That's so sweet. Ah, uh, are we witnessing a kidnapping? I feel like we should do something. Nah, she'll be fine. I'm more worried about our own, little bastard. Daddy, you're alive. Speak of the mind-controlling devil child. Give me a hug. Gross, get off me. You can hug me any day, sweetie. Let's take a photo and get fucked up at the bar after this. Oh, hell yeah. A few days later, in the Kingdom of Liberal. Dad, we're back. Oh, did you finally find that one purple-haired girl? I was beginning to think you'd never come back. Sorry, Dad. This plotline was dragged out because Falcom needed an excuse to artificially give me and Estelle more screen time to make the fans happy. Oh, and I guess me and Estelle had tons of passionate sex too. My children have grown up so fast. Now where's my new daughter? Hello, new father. Oh, she's adorable. Don't worry, little girl. I am aware of your situation. But you don't have to worry anymore because you'll be able to live with us as your new family. New family. Sniffle. I never thought I'd ever get to hear those words. You know, maybe being a part of this family isn't so bad after all. Now get to washing the dishes. You little shit. Wow, Dad, you're such an asshole. Ha 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 